Uh, thank you very much, very much for coming this afternoon, uh, on a Saturday afternoon. Um, we're extremely proud to, to announce that uh, Marcus Dabba will be our head coach for the next three years. An amazing uh, uh, appointment um, for us and we believe uh, our club will go uh, make significant inroads in where it needs to be with Marcus at the helm. I'll throw over to our chairman, Paul Edera, to say a few words. Thank you. Look, it's super exciting for us. It's an absolute new chapter in our lives. Uh, we had a very extensive search for a head coach. We have explored the world, we have explored uh, Europe, we have explored here and domestically. And I'm so happy, couldn't be happier, that Marcus we finally has said yes, which is a fantastic coup for us. But as stated in the obvious, and I'm, uh, Marcus has been a world-class player in his own right, played 15 years at the highest level, played in Germany, played in England, of course, and he'd be a fantastic coach, and he's a fantastic coach. Had a good, good career, so we couldn't be happier. Now I'll open up to, to Marcus to make a uh, couple of comments before I open the questions. First of all, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very proud and very happy to be here. I have to excuse, my English is not the best. I have to learn again. Of course, I was uh, uh, two years in, in England, but uh, I have to, to learn again it's a long time ago. But I'm very happy, very proud, very happy. I had a really good conversation with John, with Kevin. Uh, they come to Germany, visit me. And we had a really good chat in, in this time. And, and, and I, could so, I could see the, the fever in his both eyes and, um, and about the vision, what Western Sydney uh, like to do the next couple of months, years, and um, <clears throat> then I was thinking about it. I was talking to good friends who knows the, the Australian League, and uh, yeah, and then I said to my wife, yeah, let us do. I have a good feeling. I have a, uh, I, I'm ready now to, to a new experience, and um, I'm looking forward, and, and I say thank you for the trust in, trusting in me. And I give 100% to go to our vision step by step nearer. Thank you. Any questions? Marcus, um, how much do you know about the A-League and about the history of the Wanderers? Uh, no, many things. So I, was, I was talking to, to good friends of mine who were living here. Who, um, also had Tommy Juric in Luzern. I was talking a lot with him at this time, but in, in this time wasn't an uh, idea for me to come here. But now it's good that, that I was talking to him and uh, I know a lot. And, and uh, he's a very physically strong, hard league and uh, we have to be ready for this. So what type of um, football are you hoping to play in it's difficult to say. First, I have to, to meet the players to see uh, what is what is uh, the strength of the team. And uh, um, of course, I like to, to have the ball, but uh, uh, you need the player for this. And uh, if not, then we have a, a other tactic. And uh, this is one of the biggest points why I came here to to, to Sydney because Tom Urich was saying me the crowds are totally crazy and uh, uh, after Switzerland the, uh, of course it was a good time there but uh, the supporters are very quiet and uh, not so many in the stadium and now I'm lo really looking forward for for good support and uh, yeah and especially for for us to see what is what is possible with the team and uh, on, on this we will work to, we have good enough time to to yeah, to, to, to find out what is the best system, what is the best uh, way of style of play, and yeah, we have time. You mentioned that you 
mentioned that Paul and John told you about the vision that they had for the club. Yeah. What was that? Tell us more about the vision. Um, step by step to come nearer to maybe have more big success. Uh, we, we know this is uh, not an easy league. The concurrence is, is, is big, but uh, we want to come on the top. And uh, this is, this is the, the target what I have. And totally, totally agree with these two guys, with Gavin. And um, this, is the, this is the main thing, to come step by step nearer to the biggest success. It's also a salary cap league. Does that present a new kind of challenge for you as a coach? Oh, I trust in John. He will <coughs> he will do the the good good job. I I, I know this, but but this is a part of we were talking about it. What's what can we do? What is the the chance? But first, I have to to meet the team. Uh, I don't want to sign uh, players. Uh, maybe have, we have the, the same in, in our in our squad. So I have to meet the players, and then we will see. If we need something, we will do something. If not, then I think John is happy. Are you in the process of moving your whole life to Australia? Like, you know, how, how quickly has this happened? And is it a bit of a, a whirlwind for you? <laughs> yeah. When does we meet us? Last week. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. They came to me, to Germany, and, um, and it was a really good chat, very good uh, interviews. Um, I felt comfortable and I felt well, and, and I think this is a very important uh, point for 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 a good start. And um, then they said, "Listen, the chairman wants you, met you," and I said, "Okay," but I have to be quickly because uh, on Wednesday I go on holiday with the whole family, so the kids would kill me if, if I'm not there. So I said, "Okay, I can fly on on Thursday." Came yesterday, met him. Today and uh, John told me absolute 100% the right things about him. And tomorrow I go back, and then we start uh, what we have to talk about when I come back. But uh, it was very quickly. Yeah? You, you spent the majority of your whole career in Europe. Yeah. Was it a difficult decision to make to come here? No, no. I, I wanted to uh, to to get a new challenge. Because I know I know Germany, I know now Switzerland, and uh, of course England uh, as a player, and I, I wanted to do something different. And uh, this is not, for me is the top class to come here to Australia. The only thing is it's a very long flight <laughs> to get home. <laughs> it's, not that it's the only thing. But this is the challenge what I was looking for, and I'm very happy and proud to be here. You mentioned Tommy Urich. Was, did Tommy, was he the link in the... No. How, how, did, no. This, how did it come to No, we've got a, uh, a guy that's joined us this year. Paul Agostino has uh, obviously um, introduced us together. So, um, a fantastic guy. Paul will be doing some work with us this year. And, um, it's a common denominator. We, know, uh, we put us together and we had a conversation and we just hit it off. And um, it's fairly evident and clear that... Uh, Marcus is an amazing talent, as much as he has a player, and also he's coached at the highest level in the, in the Bundesliga, which is an amazing league. And uh, to be able to do that and have a, a concerted period at a club like Lucerne, and uh, to come here, we're very fortunate to have him, very proud. So uh, um, all those things are taken in consideration, and also that you know the, the the way that Marcus thinks and equates with the with the culture and the fashion that we want to see our club and. There was a lot of synergy in, in terms of what we presented and what how he saw things, and um, it certainly was a, a perfect fit for where we need to go and, and where Marcus is in his life.